All right, y'all, let's talk about Lulu here. Uh, I will be inducting him formally into the Horseman Hall of Fame at the Power Book 3 Awards, which is coming after the finale. So <laughs> just, just be forewarned. But uh, yeah, let's talk about Lulu in this episode. He, he tried to get a little redemption in this episode, but um, towards the end, of course, we saw that he didn't properly dispose of the evidence, which I'll talk about in just a second. But let's go to the beginning here of his little arc in this episode here. So, um, of course, he's looking to get that radio play. You know, he pulls up on your boy who shaded him um, in that meeting with uh, Crown or whatnot. And, uh, you know, he gave him a, a mouthful of Smith & Wesson. Um, and then Ziza has this weird laugh, like this <laughs> evil maniacal laughter. <laughs> the fuck? So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It's more than meets the hour. Some, something's going on with her. And uh, she's a nymphomania. You wanna fuck? You wanna fuck? You wanna fuck? Yes. But unlike last episode, Lulu was able to finish this time. Celebrate too long, Lulu. You have a problem around the corner. The police have recovered the remains of Crown Camacho, who has all of his identifying documents on him. So this is why I have to place Lulu in the Horseman Hall of Fame. How did you not properly dispose of the body? You had time to go up to the cat skills and bury that man, but you chose to lazily dump him off in the river. But who knows what's going to happen. Um, that's for next episode. But anyway, guys, this is just one of my top moments from episode eight of Power. So make sure to go check out the rest of my top moments down below, pinned in the comments, uh, as I cannot do my full review format this week. But anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that button. What she said, like, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all for the next video. Peace.